that I love the film. Mm -hmm. I love that the two stories parallel each other. So I wanted to ask you guys um, if what makes The Longest Ride special is that it's a dual love story rather than a singular one. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the reasons. Uh, and I think that it's one of the one of the things that surprises the viewers in the end, it's a question of why did these stories intersect the way they do? Why did uh, Sophia and Luke find Ira and save him? And where is this part of the story going? Because there's the different relationships. You have Ira and Ruth, and then you have Luke and Sophia, but you also had uh, Sophia and Ira. Sophia and Ira. And this yeah. third thing kind of bridges between it. Where is it going? Where does it lead? And how does it all work out? Okay. I think that's fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Britt and Scott, what made you want to be a part of this project? First of all, you, you know, um, I've always been a, a big fan of the Nick Sparks books and, and, the, and films. So for me, it was just a, a privilege to be a part of that. Um, but then also, once I met George Tillman Jr., the director, he is such a, he's so great and a real actor's director. You know, he was able to... Um, to communicate everything that he needed out of us, and um, and he really felt a part of the scenes. He mm -hmm. um, gave it a certain energy, and I just I really wanted to work with him after meeting with him in the audition. Yeah, yeah, I was a fan of the Notebook, and uh, I just yeah, it was I thought it was a really great uh, great choice to to pick the, someone like George Tillman Jr. to direct it, and I liked the script. And did you find certain similarities in the characters within yourselves? Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, being an actor, I think you, for me, I've been doing it now for like 10 years, but um, you have to be really hardworking and you have to know exactly what you want. And I had to move from South Carolina to California. And so I've always been really passionate about what I love and what I want to do. And I think Sophia is very similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just yeah. Um, it's a very sweeping story, so it's literally spanned several decades. So what made you want to tell a story like that? I thought uh, well, I was going to write two, two. There were going to be two separate love stories, and then next thing was you wanted to make them as different as possible. So one is short term, and one spans decades, and mm -hmm. one they're Jewish, and one they're not, and one it's about art and one it's about bull riding and this so you try to make everything different because in the end um the feelings that luke and sophia have for each other are pretty much the same that ira and ruth have for each other and they both these are both couples that have to make compromises these are both couples that have to overcome things i mean it's kind of a an illustration of uh as different as things seem mm -hmm. there's a lot of things that are always the same yeah and did you guys incorporate any of Ira and Ruth's traits onto Sophia and Luke? Well, I think the art aspect of it, you know, Ruth is um, really into art and she is obsessed with Black Mountain College. Mm -hmm. And my character at the start of the film was actually doing her thesis on Black Mountain College. So there are definite, definitely um, themes that sort of intertwine um, through the, the different storylines. Scott, a lot of your scenes are on top of a bull. Um, <laughs> did you actually have to learn how to ride one? Yeah, I always tell people there's there's really no school for bull riding. Uh, you just sort of have to do it. And uh, yeah, yeah, I ultimately did do it, and uh, I'm still happy I'm alive, so that's good. Well, your character needs to be on top of a bull for eight <laughs> seconds. Um, yeah. So I wanted each of you to describe why we should watch the movie in eight seconds. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Start, right. Mr. Storyteller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> You should watch The Longest Ride because The Longest Ride is what is best about film in general. It's a mixture of the sweeping and the, and the tender and the, and the fun and the passionate and the exciting and epic and memorable. For me, I, I think you should watch The Longest Ride because you're going to love the characters. I think a lot of people can relate to these types of people and um, having conflict in their life. And um, I think they're going to be empowered by love and, and feel really um, happy and sad and all of those emotions that feel good and bad at the same time. <laughs> Go for it, buddy. <laughs> Enjoy. Just say because you take your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> Love bull riding, um, art, kissing in the rain, no bullshit. No kissing in the rain, it's kissing in the shower. It's my eight seconds, okay. I'll tell you what yeah. I want. Okay. You had your eight. Okay, you're right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you. And congratulations you. on the film. Thank Thanks. you.